Hey guys, it's Maria with Meet Me at Zero, and I want to thank you for liking, sharing, watching um, my channel, sharing with others the goodness of God, the motivation. Um, today I just wanted to talk real quick about gratitude as Martin Luther King um, Day is upon us. I was sharing with my mom today so many of the accomplishments of blacks and African Americans in this culture. And a lot of it has gone through the cracks. Um, it has been, um, what's the word? Um, can't think of the word, reappropriated. It's been a reappropriated. Um, and others have taken credit for it. But today I'm thinking about gratitude. I was thinking gratitude um, every morning. I try to be grateful not for the material and the successes even though our our man ego likes to be stroked sometimes as to how far we've come and what we've accomplished and what we've done but really thinking about the moments uh the things that i have nothing to do with that i am grateful for um every morning i'm grateful that i get to take this walk with bella that I'm able to see the, the sky, the sunrise, the sunset, the trees, the birds, um, the beauty um, that surrounds me. Um, and I really think that we have to be intentional about our gratitude because, again, our ego gets in the way. And so when I'm grateful, a lot of times we associate gratitude and gratefulness only for the things that other people can see. But I'm grateful for the times where I really struggled spiritually or I was in a dark place or I didn't know how I was going to make it. And God really came through for me. Um, you know, grateful for the times that God had to take me to a place where I could understand that the big things, the things that matter only move because of him and not because of anything that I can potentially do. Um, you know, I'm grateful in this season for the friends that I know I do have, the true friends in this past year that I do have, the people that really love me, that are connected to me, even though we haven't been able to put our hands and our faces in the same, you know, in the same space. They stay in touch. They send me stuff. And, and I'm just grateful for that. I'm grateful for this um, singles over 35 meeting because of these beautiful people that are in my life um that they plant seeds in me and i plant seeds in them and we're able to do life together you know um i was talking to um my mom this morning and just trying to explain to her about black history talking to her about hidden figures and the harriet tubman movie and hopefully i can get together with her this week and watch those because a lot of things, uh, we talk about history, but we don't really include a lot of the African-American accomplishments or the Hispanic accomplishments or what's going on. And so anytime somebody advances in some way um, from a minority standpoint, um, it should be celebrated. You know, it's definitely a milestone. And just explaining to her this morning about Rosa Parks and um, my sister-in-law was with me. We were talking to her about Judy Bridges and everything she had to go as a child um, to make it to school. You know, these are these are monumental. I, I was telling mom, I was like, only in such a time, um, some people or even children are born with a certain spirit to be able to, you know, when I think about Rudy, Rudy Bridges, Ruby Bridges, you know, um, so small and yet a mighty warrior and spirit in her that allowed her to go to school in an all-white school where she needed bodyguards to preserve her life from being harmed the adults that protested and screamed at her and threw things at her but God knew that this would have to happen in order for us to get to where we're at today and a lot of times we can't see what's going on in the craziness and the confusion but can I tell you that the mighty God has it all figured out and after all this foolishness goes on, his name will be glorified and we will be better humans after this. I promise you, um, you know, the enemy tries to keep us divided. The enemy tries to silence um, the truth by appearing the lie, appearing bigger 
You know, sometimes the things that seem the biggest and the loudest are really not of God, just a diversion or a confusing moment or just to keep us distracted for the moment and the season. But we are about to have a national breakthrough in this country. Um, we are going to be better people. You know, we are. God is going to force us to look at other people with love and compassion. He's going to force us, um, his people, um, the church, the body should be rising and seeing the bigger picture in all of this and and the spirit of gratitude is 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 everything um when you are grateful and you have a spirit of gratitude um everything you have is enough you understand that everything comes in seasons that god is totally in control of everything and that we have nothing to do with those things and those are the mighty things those are the things that I hold on to every single day when I am unsure of what's going on in the world, when I'm unsure sometimes what's going on in my life. I can count on God's guidance and his love and his trust and his word is truth. You know, um, the Bible says, test the spirits. Everything that comes in the name of God is not of God. People that use the name of God, they're not of God. Um, the devil knows the word. Lucifer knows, um, you know, he, he can mimic well. And so in the season that we're in, let's be grateful for what God is going, doing, what's God about to do in our country, in our lives, in our families, in our environment, and try to stay positive. In all, we just have to be mindful and we have to be uh, wise and we have to be smart. Um, you know, we don't operate on fear, but that doesn't mean we operate on ignorance to ignore what's being told to us. At the end of the day, we're still humans and, and the rules apply for everybody. Um, the same. Um, let's exercise wisdom. Let's be, um, you know, a shining light in this time um, for our neighbors, for the people that love us, that look at us as a model. When we talk about God and we put God in our mouth, let us be the example of what people would want to follow um, and see the best in us, you know, compassion, grace, mercy, um, you know, good stewardship, self-control, um, and love above all. So I wish you a good Sunday. I am about to go in here and watch a game with my brother. I was out taking my mom somewhere. Um, and I just want to encourage you, you know, stay positive, check on somebody that you love. Times are, are crazy. Tell people that you love them, show them that you really care about them. It doesn't really take a whole lot. Um, I will be back in a few days to do another video that I want to talk about something that's in my heart. And so know that you're loved and thought of by the most high God. Um, be fruitful, be fruitful, be fruitful. It's not about the talk, it's about the fruit at the end of the day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.